we've got an incredible story for you now. 18 months ago, Mom Amy collapsed suddenly while at home, alone with her two young daughters. Yeah, so Daisy, who was just four years old at the time, was not only able to call 999 for help and give their address, but even then perform life-saving CPR while uh, paramedics were waiting, or while she was waiting for paramedics to arrive. Now, before we chat to them both, we can listen to the unbelievable 999 phone call that Daisy made that day. Let's have a listen. Is this the patient breathing? Oh, Is she awake at the moment? No. OK, is she, is she responding to you? She's not talking to me. She's not talking. OK, what I want you to do for me, then, can you get close to Mummy and just see, yeah. tell me if she's breathing? So if you just look really close... OK, so listen to me carefully, OK? I want you to try and tip, tilt Mummy's head back, OK? Mummy's doing it, my little sister. How old's your sister? Only two. She's two. OK, I need you to help your sister then, OK? You're doing really well. You just keep going, OK? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Keep going at that speed. You're doing really well. You're really brave, you are. That's Mummy. Is she woken up? No. OK, so what's happening now? Is, is Mummy woken up? Yeah. Wow. I, mean, I could just hear that all day. <laughs> it's just a few... You need a little life-affirming shot in the arm right there, isn't it? Wow, you've, you've just raised a pair of superheroes. <laughs> so, five-year-old Daisy and her mum Amy join us now. Daisy, it's so good to have you with us. Thanks for uh, joining us. Amy, love to see you too. <laughs> Remind you. us who this is in the middle. Who's this? Stitch. It's Stitch. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is debut it's appearance. TV debut. Yeah. Uh, Amy, let's yeah. start off with you, because obviously you do have a condition. Could you just explain to us what condition um, you suffer with? I've got a heart condition, neurocardiogenic syncope. Yeah. Um, and basically my heart and my brain don't really talk to each other occasionally, and it results in me collapsing. Um, I have a few little faints where nothing major, but occasionally I have these big ones. Um, they're very few and far between when I do have the big ones. And luckily, um, other than about 10 years ago when my eldest daughter did a very similar thing when she was six, yeah. um, this is the first time it's happened since then when I've been on my own with the children. So I've always trained the little ones to dial 999, but never really expected that they'd have to because I normally make sure I'm not on my own with them when I'm feeling unwell. Wow. So what can you remember about that day? Um, all I remember is we were downstairs and I started to feel really unwell, so I went to lie down upstairs and took these two with me. And um, the plan was to get the youngest one to go to sleep, give Daisy my phone to watch a bit of YouTube videos and yeah. things. And then I was going to have a little rest and hopefully feel better after a little sure. rest. But, yeah, the rest, obviously, history. <laughs> So do you just remember waking up in the moment and paramedics being around yeah, you? Yeah, I remember giving Daisy my phone and lying just what I thought was chilling and then the next thing I knew I wake up and there was paramedics, police officers, my neighbour, all stood I in love, the house at the bottom of the bed. I love when we read my notes, it was like, I woke up, everyone in the house, and I just, your, your first thought was, I've forgotten to tidy yeah. the house. <laughs> Didn't plan it very well, the house looked a mess. <laughs> Daisy, what can you remember about that day? Do you remember Mummy being ill? Yeah. And then, do, do you remember straight away, oh, I know what to do now, I'll pick up the phone and call 999? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what had Mummy taught you? Do you remember what Mummy had taught you? Uh, she taught us to do the postcode. Postcode, OK. So Talk clever. us through that. So, Amy, Amy and Daisy, what, what's the, is it a postcode song? Yes, we... Um... I taught her so that, obviously, it's hard to understand other people's children, so rather than just saying the letters, I taught her the phonetic alphabet just of the postcode so that she could say it out and to do it as a little bit of a sing-song. Do you so remember that, it? Do you remember yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to give out your postcode. <laughs> That's fine. We're glad that you remember the song, but just don't give out your postcode. We don't, we don't need to do that. <laughs> um, but uh, what's unbelievable is... The actual phone call, when you heard the actual phone call, could you believe yeah. that your daughter, aged four at the time... Not at all. ..had done that? No. I, like I say, I've always talked to star 999, but I just assumed it would be a dial the number and help would come. I never really expected she'd actually do what they asked her to do and stay calm, really. Mm. And stayed a lot calmer than I think my Daisy, husband would have done. <laughs> do you remember the man on the phone giving you 
the instructions. Was it hard to give your mum CPR? Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was it and, and was it easy to follow when he when he was talking to you on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you did so well, so humble. And then did your and then mummy just sort of started making some noise and came too. Yeah. yeah. I had Luckily. lots of bruises on my chest, didn't I? <laughs> She'd well, done it quite hard. She'd done, very hard. Yeah, she'd done it very hard. <laughs> she didn't want her mummy to go, that's why. And the, the paramedics were so impressed with what she did. Yes. She actually got an award, didn't she? She did, yes. Yes, she got an award. Didn't what you? was the award then? <laughs> did got... they come and present that to you, Daisy? Yeah. Was it at school? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, Look at wow. that. <laughs> and where have that you got it in the house? Where's home. that award now? At home. Where at home. Is it? Where did you put it? I put it on the wall, but it fell off. On the wall in, in her bedroom. Oh, that's But it lovely. fell off Babe. the other day. Did it? Yeah, that's DIY skills aren't great. Where is it, Tom? It's on your bed, on the bottom of your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to know where it is. Yes, need and to know. Then, you know, Daisy and her, and her sister obviously did so well, but well done for you for... for, for and obviously, you know, it's, it's to help you as well, but well done for you for instilling that in your kids so they know yeah. and, you know, that's... If people are watching now and they've they've got similar conditions or different, so how important is it to teach your children? Do you think? I think it's a great skill for any child to have, to be honest. Obviously, because I've got the condition, I was more eager to teach Daisy and my other children. Um, but I think it's great for all children to know how to dial nine nine nine, to know the postcode and the house number of their address. Yeah. Um, and I suppose obviously the CPR was an added bonus, but even things like that that you think they won't need at a young age, you never know really when they're going to need it. I love how the chilled way you describe about your daughter saving your life is, yeah, added bonus. Yeah, added yeah. bonus. <laughs> Not bad, that, is it? It's unbelievable. It's great. <laughs> this whole thing, though, has stemmed Daisy's interest in medicine, hasn't it? Yes, yes. What do you want to be now, Daisy? What do you want to do when you grow up? Be a paramedic. Really? <laughs> she wants to be a paramedic. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Really, really. Um, and I heard that you were quite interested in being a surgeon as well. Is that true? Yeah. So you could be a paramedic and a surgeon. So you take them to the hospital and then operate them when they're there. <laughs> She's good in the emergency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very good in the emergency. Nice and calm. <laughs> Where did the love, the passion come from for being a surgeon? Um, when did you decide you wanted to be a surgeon? Uh, was it when we went to Harrison's Open Day at school? Yeah. 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 We went to Older Brothers Open Day at the secondary school and yeah. they were dissecting <laughs> pigs' hearts and lungs and oh, nice. cows' tongues. <laughs> and she, she thought, took a great interest in it. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's how Dr Curran got into it, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, listen, we, um, we think you're incredible and we didn't, we didn't want to, you to come all the way to London uh, uh, and just speak to us. So, Daisy, we wanted to yeah. like, treat you a little bit. So, is he down in London for the day? Uh, I need a drink. You need a drink? Have some water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have some water. Uh, it's hard we'll job. make sure you have an ultimate day out. So, we've arranged you uh, to take you for a lovely lunch by the river following a trip to London Sea Life Aquarium. <gasps> so, you're going to go to the aquarium today, which is one of my favourite places to go. It's wonderful. Uh, and have an amazing time. All right? You can good. drink as much water as you like. <laughs> and Stitch can go too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. We're so glad you're here, Ragmi. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>